Here we have a triangle ABC, and we know two angles of that triangle. Angle A is 15 degrees, angle B is 30 degrees, and we also have a side bisector CD that splits the side AB into two halves. Uh, AD equals to BD. And we were asked to find this angle X, which is the angle CDB. Okay? So uh, the way we're going to approach this problem is we're going to use a law of sines. Just to remind you, law of sines uh, is true for arbitrary triangle. If I have a triangle that has three sides of length A, B, and C, and three angles with measures alpha, beta, and gamma. In this case, the ratio of the sine of an angle to the length of the opposite side is the same for all angles. Okay, so it means the sine of alpha divided by the opposite side A equals to sine of angle beta divided by the opposite uh, side B and equals to sine of gamma divided by the opposite side C. Okay? So we're going to apply this law of sines for two, two triangles, triangle CDB and triangle CDA. So let's call the angles at the top right here as Y and Z, the measures of those angles. And now what we're going to do, we're going to uh, apply first law of sine to triangle CDB. And that's how it's going to look like. So we take sine of an angle of 30 degrees, right, divided by CD, opposite side, uh, equals to sine of angle D divided by side BD. Now, if we apply law of sines to triangle ACD, we're going to get this relationship. So I have sine of angle 15 degrees, angle A, divided by the opposite side CD equals to sine of Y divided by the opposite side AD. Now what we're going to do, we're going to divide the first equation by the second equation. So notice that left sides in both cases have the length CD. It's going to cancel out when we divide it. Now on the right side, one equation has BD, another equation has AD, but BD equals to AD. So those two things are going to cancel out. And this is what we're going to get. Sine of 30 degrees divided by sine of 15 degrees equals sine Z or sine Y. So let's rewrite this again, clean things up. And now just remember that those angles Y and Z together, they're kind of related to each other. Remember we're dealing with triangle ACB, ABC, and sum of all angles in the triangle is 180 degrees. One angle here is 15 degrees, the other angle is 30 degrees, the third angle is Y plus Z. Together, they have to give us 180 degrees, which means that y plus z is 180 minus 15 minus 30, and that gives us 135 degrees. So we can rewrite this angle z here as 135 degrees minus y. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to look at uh, what we can simplify here. So first of all, let's start this sine of 15 degrees. Uh, we calculated sine of 15 degrees before, it's sine of 45 minus 30 degrees. Um, and if you do that, you find that sine of 15 degrees is square root of 3 minus 1, or 2 square root of 2. And sine of 30 degrees, we also know from previous uh, videos, it's 1 half. So that pretty much gives us the left-hand side. And now we kind of need to uh, get rid of this 135 degrees here and just get sines and cosines of y. To do that, we're going to use a formula for sine of the difference of two angles. 
which we derived early. It's sine of 135 minus y is sine of 135 cosine of y minus cosine of 135 times sine y. Now, uh, obviously, we need to figure out what sine of 135 degrees is and what cosine of 135 degrees is. So sine of 135 degrees is sine of 180 minus 45 degrees. And that's sine of 45 degrees. And which we also know is 1 over square root of 2. And cosine 135 degrees in a similar fashion. The only thing to note is that cosine of 180 degrees minus 45 is minus cosine of 45 degrees. And that gives us minus 1 over square root of 2. So now we can plug all this stuff into this equation. Uh, this is what we're going to get on the left hand side. We plug sine of 30 degrees divided by sine of 15 degrees. This is what we're going to get on the right sine of y in denominator and numerator what we see here is sine of 135 degrees minus y based on this formula and the fact that sine and cosine of 135 degrees are these numbers. Now there's uh, square root of square root of 2 sitting in denominator in the numerator. So you're just going to go down. This is what we're going to see. So this is our formula. First thing we're going to do is to multiply both parts by square root of 2. Uh, in this case, we're going to get 2 here and square root here going to disappear. The next thing, if you look at the right hand side, it's cosine y divided by sine y plus sine y divided by sine y. Cosine y divided by sine y is cotangent of y and sine y over sine y is 1. So this is what we're going to get. Um, and now we just need to simplify the left hand side and the way we're going to do is simply uh, take this 2 over square root of 3 minus 1 and multiply by uh, square root of 3 plus 1 and divide by the same thing. And now what we notice that in the denominator we have square root of 3 minus 1 times square root of 3 plus 1 and if you open the parenthesis or you know some better formulas, you would know that this denominator equals to 2. And then we have 2 in numerator, there's 2 in denominator, we cancel them out, and we're going to get a square root of 3 plus 1, which means that we can rewrite this equation as square root of 3 plus 1 equals cotangent y plus 1. Now we can cancel 1 from both sides, and then and we get cotangent y equals square root of 3. Now from this you can immediately say what y is, but if you can't, you're not comfortable with cotangent, uh, we can flip cotangent and get a tangent. Remember tangent is 1 over cotangent. And if we do, we get that tangent y is 1 over square root of 3. And that should be familiar to you from analysis of 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. There's a video I have. I recorded it earlier. And uh, from that you should know that tangent of 30 degrees equals to 1 over square root of 3. And that's our answer. Y equals 30 degrees. All right. And now we almost done. We know that this angle y is 30 degrees and we are interested in this angle x. This angle x is an exterior angle to triangle ACD and it's not that difficult to show that this x should be equal to sum of angle A for 15 degrees and this angle y. It's not that difficult to show and I'll leave it as an exercise. And that gives us the final answer that x equals 15 degrees plus y, and that is 45 degrees.